Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that neon glowing scene in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to also share with you how to create that reflective floor that you just saw in the example. We're going to see a lot of interesting technique today, so if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and we're going to start by bringing a new fusion composition in our timeline. Let's just drag that in and then let's move over to fusion. Once in Fusion, we're gonna create our canvas and our background. So we're gonna bring a first background that's gonna serve as transparent background, which is gonna set the canvas for our frame. And then we're gonna bring a second background that's gonna serve as a black background. Then we're gonna link the output of the first to the second one. And then we're gonna link the output of the merge to the media out. So this background is our black background. We can just rename it by hitting F2 and then say black background and then this is our canvas and on our canvas we're going to bring the alpha channel down to zero to add transparency now this video is going to be set in two parts the first one i'm going to show you how to create those neon and make them flicker and in the second part i'm going to share with you how to create a reflective floor to enhance your scene so let's start with creating the neon i'm going to bring a new background here in my working area and i'm going to link the output of that background to the canvas then i'm going to select my background and click the rectangular mask to just apply that mask then let's just go back to the background and change the color from black to white now let's go back to the rectangle and create our neon. So we're going to adjust the width to 0 0.001 to have a very thin stripe. We're going to increase a bit the height. So we're going to do 0 0.55. And then we're going to adjust the position to give a bit of space for when we're going to do the reflective floor later on. So I'm going to adjust here the center position of the Y to 0 0.6. So now we've created our line, but it's not a neon yet. We need to apply a glow effect to it. To do that, I'm going to make some space between my rectangle and my background, and we're going to bring the glow in between those two. So I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard, and I'm going to search for glow and bring that in. Now, right now, by default, it brings it connected with the blue arrow. We don't want that. We want it connected through the yellow arrow. So I'm going to take the output of the rectangle link that to the yellow arrow and then link the output of that glow and link that to the background. Now we're going to bring the blend here up to one and then we're going to adjust the glow size. As you can see, the more we increase the glow size, the more spread there is. And if we reduce it, it becomes a solid and there is not glow at all. So I just want something here in between. So we're going to start with 3.5. Now let's select our rectangle or glow and the background and just bring them up just to make a bit of space. And then here, we're just going to select the background, hit shift space on our keyboard and search for color corrector and bring that in. Now for the color, I'm going to select red. And then here with still the color corrector selected, I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard. And this time I'm going to search for soft glow node and bring that in. So now as you can see, basically with the first glow, we went the core of the neon glow, so the white part. And then here for the soft glow, we've made the outline of the neon glow uh, with that red glow that we can change. We can just switch to any color we like right there. So right now we're gonna make a three color, but let's start with red. But we still need to create a third glow to have a bit more of diffusion and have the light just spreading across the frame. To do that, I'm gonna select my soft glow copy it and then we're going to paste it next to it and we're going to take the output of the color corrector and connect it to the yellow arrow and then take the output of the soft glow and connect it here to the canvas now let's go to our soft glow and here we're just going to increase the gain to the maximum and then we're going to increase the glow size to the maximum and as you can see it's just spreading that light across the frame and make it look a lot more realistic because that's how a neon will behave if it was captured on camera now we're going to do a simple flickering animation. To do that, I'm going to go at frame 10. And here on that first soft glow, we're going to drop a keyframe on the gain at 5. And then here, we're going to go to the second soft glow and we're going to drop a keyframe on the gain at 2. Then we're going to go to frame 0 and we're going to bring the gain down to 1. And then we're going to go back to the second soft glow and bring the gain down to 2. Now basically we created a shift in the intensity of the light. Now we just want to repeat that process to create some sort of pulse or flicker. To do that, I'm simply gonna loop that by going over to the spline editor. Here, as you can see, we have all two soft glow. I'm gonna click zoom to fit, and then I'm gonna select all our keyframe and go to ping pong. And now for in zoom, as you can see, we simply replicate that animation over and over and over. So now there is no need to just keyframe it manually. It's just done and it will loop until the end of the composition. 
So now basically to create my two other neon, we're simply going to duplicate what we've created here. So I'm just going to select everything, the rectangle, the glow, the background, the color corrector, and the two soft glow, then just copy them. And then we're just going to move forward, paste them. And then now we can simply link the output of the soft glow here to the merge. And then the second output of this soft glow to this merge. Now we can go back to the rectangle. And then here we're going to adjust the center position to something like 0.35. Now we can go over to the color corrector and we can switch it to whatever color we want. So here I'm going to go with purple. Now I'm going to do the same process for the third one. I'm simply going to paste everything and then we're going to link the output of the first glow to the merge and the output of the second soft glow to the merge. Now I can go back to the rectangle and I just again the position here to 0.65 so on the other direction and then adjust the color corrector here to something like blue now if i play it as you can see we got the flickering but i don't want it to be in sync so we're just gonna create some offset between each of the neon uh, just to make it look a bit more interesting to do that i'm gonna open the spline editor but here now as you can see we have a bunch of soft glows so that might be a bit complicated to know which one is which so a quick way to navigate that is to go over to the menu and here select show only selected tool now only the nodes that are selected gonna appear here in the spline editor so that's just gonna be the easiest way to adjust that so here i'm gonna create an offset of three frame between the flicker of each neon so our first neon right here is the red one so actually the first neon is this purple then that will be our second neon and then the third one will be the blue right there so i'm gonna offset the second one by selecting here those two soft glow click zoom to fit and then here we're just gonna select all our keyframe point and we're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and then select the point and move everything forward to three frame now let's do the same thing with the third neon by going and selecting the two soft glow click zoom to fit select everything hold shift on your keyboard and this time move everything to the sixth frame so now if i play it as you can see we have a delay of three frame between each neon and that just make it a bit more interesting in my opinion now that we've created all neon let's just move on to creating that reflective floor the first thing i want to do is going over to the merge and hit shift space on my keyboard and search for the mirror node i'm gonna bring that in then here i'm gonna adjust the angle to 90 degree and I'm gonna adjust the position just to drag that down right there. Nice fine like this, and if what you want to emulate is just a clean mirror, that will be enough. But if you want to just do a reflective uh, floor or uh, some puddle or whatever other surfaces that will not just reflect completely cleanly uh, the light that way, we can just add a Gaussian blur. So here I'm gonna select my black, my merge and my media out. Just drag that down just to make a bit more space. Select my mirror, hit shift space on my keyboard, and we're gonna search for a Gaussian blur, then bring that in. As you can see, it has applied the Gaussian Blur to my entire composition, but I want it to affect only here the reflection. So I'm going to select my Gaussian Blur and then click here on my rectangular mask. And now we can just select which part of the image are affected. So I'm just going to extend that mask and we're going to bring it down so it's covering up only the reflective floor part. So right now our blur is not too strong, it's gonna be good enough for what we're doing, but if for whatever reason you want to increase that uh, drastically, as you can see now we have not very clean line on the edge. So you will have to go over to the rectangle and then here make adjustment to the soft edge just to blend that in uh, properly. And then you can just adjust again the position of the mask uh, just to make it work for whatever you're doing. Right now I'm just gonna decrease a bit the blur like that, I'm fine with it. Right now we have a black background which is nice but if you want to make it a bit more realistic i will suggest to add a floor with a picture to just create a bit more texture to do that you can go on a website like unsplash and just get some texture background so here that's gonna serve as all floor just download that and then back in davinci we're just gonna bring that in and connect that to all background by connecting the output of the media in to the background then here with my media in selected i'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and we're gonna search for dve and bring that in and now we're gonna adjust the exposition just to change the perspective and make it as a floor now let's just bring the position down to meet the bottom of the composition then here i'm gonna select my ellipse mask and then bring that in and link that ellipse to my merge then here i'm gonna stretch the width of that ellipse and we're gonna bring the center position down. 
and now we can adjust the soft edge so here i'm gonna increase it quite a lot uh, and bring that down a little bit more just play around with it to get the look that you want and to blend that in a little more here you want to reduce the level considerably just so it's not too prominent so like that i think it's fine and now congratulations you successfully created a neon glowing scene now this concept that we just did will work with pretty much anything else so you could import svg or png file to just have introduction logo for example you could use text you could use a uh, tempered line and other stuff like this so we're not limited only to this rectangle we could right now just delete it and instead bring here a polygon tool link that to our glow and now we're just free to trace whatever shape we want and then here if we increase the border size as you can see we will get a neon effect with that as well so then you can just feel free to animate the position length and then here you could make some keyframing on the position and on the length to create a different kind of neon animation then here will work the same way on the text if you bring some text in and you write for example here da vinci it will work the exact same way you might just need to go back and make some adjustment here to the glow blend to just reduce a bit the intensity of the glow and make it a bit more uh, readable for example but that's pretty much it that will be pretty plug and play then another idea could be to go on a website like PNG Repo or SVG Repo and just download whatever icon you would like to transform into a neon sign and then just download that, bring that in, then here just bring a new background, reduce the alpha channel down to zero, connect the media and then connect the output of the merge to the glow. Then here we can just adjust the position directly on the merge reducing the size, moving that around. And as you can see, the way we've set up the composition, now wherever we move that around, we have the reflection working. So you can make a bunch of animation as well, and that will uh, happen also here on the mirror. So that's pretty cool, I think. All right, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.